helpful. When did you know that you were meant to be a screenwriter and to make movies? Us? From day one, from, from day us. one, from day one. My, I knew, I knew what I, what I like to do. It wasn't like a big question what I will do. There is no looking back, looking right, looking left. I, all the time I have the passion to have more and more and more of it. What was your childhood like? Well, when I was a child, it was amazing. I, in my family, all of them are deaf people. My sister, she is deaf. My parents are deaf. My, my grandmother and grandfather were their hearing person, so we all talk in sign language. Uh, I understood everything, uh, I knew all my parents' friends, and I understood all my parents' friends, so we like, we've been in like a small community. It is a very small community, but an amazing community. Wow, amazing. Okay, my again. identity is really clear to me. Of course, and look at you, you're so beautiful. We got the two Tammies again. I just want to reintroduce Tammy Shema and uh, how do I say your name? Asuline? <laughs> yep. So tell us about this uh, film and the, and the link with the, um, the Gesher Foundation and making it happen. <laughs> this is a sign for yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a really important <laughs> sign to know. When I did that uh, script, I did it with uh, Gesher, and, uh, and there over there, it was uh, an amazing process. They really opened the door for me. They let me in. They didn't say, yes, no, you can't. This is my movie. I did it with my friend. Uh, my friend is uh, also deaf. His name is Jonathan Pinto. We came because we love it. And they, they took us. Gesher took us and they said, yes, you, you can do it. They teach us how to do, write the script. I didn't know how to write the script in the, in the beginning. I never learned it before. All my world is, you know, like all around us are hearing people. And suddenly Gesher opened the door for us. They teach us everything, how to do it. It was about a year and a half, how to write the script, how to do it, how to tell the story, how to tell it from my point of view, how to tell it from my point of light. It was, there were difficulties. I don't know how to tell everything. It's not just to say it. It was really something deep inside me that I wanted to say my story, my story about dancing. I was a dancer. I was a, I was a part of a group. It was in the group that were deaf and hearing people. And uh, the manager of the group, his name was Efrati. He brought uh, the way we dance. It took a stick, wood stick, so I can feel the rhythm of the music when we danced. Wow. And I feel the vibration, and that's the way we danced. I couldn't feel the music, I could feel the rhythm. And it gave me a lot of confidence, because those days, people, people, the identity wasn't really clear. Always the, the earring people have the place. And suddenly, as a deaf child and as a woman, I couldn't find my place and to dance. I didn't know in the group, you couldn't notice who is the earring dancer, who is the deaf dancer. Wow, that's and that was my it. And that was my inspiration. That was a kind of uh, video art for me. <laughs> that's a really easy way for me to express myself. And that's my story. Do you, this is a time where we see Hollywood changing. You know, again, I said Marley Matlin was here. She's a big advocate for, you know, casting in Hollywood with real disabled actors. Do you feel um, a change in, uh, in what will happen in the creative community with people with uh, disabilities? Here in Israel, there is a, unfortunately, there's still things that we have to do. We're still a young country. <laughs> We're still like in a different place, but we have to break all the walls. We cannot wait that somebody will take us or save us. We ourselves can do it, but we have to do it by himself. We need a support, and Gesher gave me that support. Because of that support, I was able to break the walls. There are so many other people, deaf people, hard-hearing people, all kinds of people. Everybody, can, everybody and everyone can do it. Why not? One of the other interesting things that I was speaking to Marley about is, like, do you feel like you were... Here she... It's like you're born to be a messenger. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, I can do. I can be your friend. I can argue. I can. I, maybe I can play in a movie like she did. I, I feel. I feel the anger inside me. I, I. I'm not talking because of jealousy, but I'm saying like I want to do everything. 
it seems like in Israel everything is a bit difficult. So, oh, oh, you're deaf. Mm, so we cannot, oh, you cannot do it because you're deaf. Well, but we're in 2017. Let's start and do the things. Wow, you're amazing. You're Thank amazing. You and tonight.